Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Havoc on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now, I just reviewed this for the Commodore 64, and it looks all right for 1984, but the controls, every time you got damage, it just made the plane just go in all different directions, and it was really annoying. So, let's see how it plays on the Spectrum. So, Kempston, and let's go. Hmm. It's very slow. Very slow. You know, the ship move, plane or whatever moves around quite slowly. Right, okay. Oh, so it reminds me a little bit like Zaxxon this game, if anything. Now so far it ain't doing that annoying thing it's doing on the Commodore 64 with the controls. It seems to be responding but it's very slow responding. I feel I've got to... Oh here we go. Hey I didn't touch it! I didn't touch it and it sends you back to the beginning each time so I think it was like Zaxxon was it like Zaxxon did that Zaxxon do that I can't remember now I have reviewed it I don't know I think I reviewed it on the Commodore 64 actually that was the version I played back in the day was the Commodore 64 version of Zaxxon right so we know we got right turn so that tops up my fuel every time you now I didn't notice that on the Commodore 64 version. So this is playing differently. I've got to say this is, I'd rather play, oh, 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 she didn't know that, I didn't know that. So it's a bit of a memory test this, game over, P to play. So it says P to play, then I, what, I don't get that, that's a bit stupid. So it is a bit slow to respond. Well, I say it's slow to hang. The ship, the plane land, handles quite slowly, but it plays. It plays more like Zaxxon. Right, so we know we got fuel there. Oh fuck! I see it's too slow. It's too slow. So you got to give it um, a wide berth. So you basically you got to shoot it quickly, shoot it quickly, then to move. There we go. Come on, move. Or well, you could climb, I guess. But even that, say, climbing's quite slow. But no sign of the fucking control sh stupidity of the Commodore 64 version. At least it's not doing that right. We need to climb. Need to climb. Climb faster. Climb faster. Ah, oh, fuck off. Then it sends you right back to the beginning again. Now, I'm finding this quite annoying, to be honest with you. It just responds. To, it's just slow. The plane moves too slowly. It's no, it's no Zaxxon. It looks like Zaxxon, but well, maybe we should just get a little bit of an altitude here already. So at least we'll be prepared. So we can't shoot any. I can't move no more. That's it. Right, so we should be able to get over that. Now the problem is, I don't know what's coming next. Oh, it's changed colour. Fuck! Oh, 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 oh. I was through that. Oh, fuck off! You know what? If you can't be bothered to do a game properly, why the fuck should I bother to play it? Well, I was clearly in the middle of that. That's bullshit. Um... Now it doesn't have the control issues like the Commodore 64 version when you get hit, it's, it fucks up the controls. That I found annoying. But this, 
has got its own problems it it just moves too slowly so you really haven't got a chance to climb descend go left or right if something comes up you're fucked it's basically a memory test game yeah and I'll clearly through those look like I was clearly through that last segment and no I hit the fucking wall apparently so collision detection seems to be a bit off yeah I I don't like it no it could graphics look a bit I know it's an early title but could have been it could have been better than that just it just seems like a a Zaxxon knockoff where the Commodore 64 version at least it was trying to do something different but as I said that that was just annoying to play and this is just crap on another level I guess anyway gonna end this now thank you so much for watching until next time and goodbye